Hey, this is Rick Casalage, Injury Specialist from ExercisesForInjuries.com. In today's video, I want to go through a few exercises to help ease your knee pain during running. In general, demonstrate them and I'll kind of go through the details of the exercise. So the first one is, I, is rolling out your IT band. Good, so you're rolling uh, just above the knee to just below the hip, then you're rolling back that outer part of the thigh to just above the knee and rolling back, good. So IT bound, out, outer part of the hip is a really common place where there's tension and this tension affects our movement and it leads to knee pain. So just rolling out to just above the knee, rolling through that outer part of the thigh to just below the hip. Good. So looking at the sets, reps, time and intensity, for this one, sets would be one, repetitions would be five, so up and down that outer part of the thigh would be one repetition. Uh, time, smooth controlled movement with a quick stop at the end position. The intensity with this one, uh, for some people it might be light, most people it will be moderate because a lot of runners will have sensitivity on the outer part of the thigh. And with this one, what we're targeting is we're working on decreasing the tension within the muscle and self-massaging that muscle to help, uh, you know, help decrease the tension within the muscle, which will decrease how much pulling is happening on the knee and leading to knee pain. So moving from that first exercise, going to the second exercise, Good, this is a simple uh, leg, or like a, like a heel to seat that you're doing, so a basic quad stretch. So moving to the starting position, so you're lying on your side, arms overhead, so your head can rest on it, you're in a nice straight line. Now you're bring, gonna bring the heel towards your seat, you're gonna grab uh, just above the ankle, bring that heel towards the seat, looking at stretching out that front of the thigh. Now, if you're not feeling very much with this one, you can intensify it by bringing that knee back. So you're adding some hip extension. That'll intensify the stretch. And one other thing, if you bring your heel towards your seat, brings on too much knee pain or irritation, what you can do is you can let go of the leg and you can have the knee bent to 90. And what you can do is just focus on bringing that knee back to a point where you have a stretch in the thigh and in the front of the hip. Looking at the sets, reps, time and intensity, for this one, sets would be one, repetitions would be two, time, 20 seconds. Uh, lo looking at the, uh, the intensity of this exercise, uh, intensity would be light, it's a stretching exercise, so we're looking, so we're fo focusing more on uh, lengthening out the muscle, finding that position that's tight and holding that position. Now I did sets, reps, time, intensity, so I think I covered it all. Now moving on to the next exercise. So we're gonna do the third exercise. This is a single leg glute bridge. Okay, good. Okay, so with this one, you're starting off with lying on your back, knees bent, relax the upper body, arms are to the side, you're gonna bridge up, okay, and then you're gonna straighten one leg out, good, you're gonna hold that position, and then bring that leg back, and then you back down, and then bridging back up, straightening the leg out, and coming back, and back down. And then we'll go. So getting that starting position, bridging up, straightening that leg out, good straight line from the side and from the top, and back down, and then the other side, straightening out, straightening the leg out, good. Good, and back down, good. Now looking with this one, looking at the sets, reps, time and intensity. Sets would be one, repetitions would be five on each side, alternating back and forth. Uh, a time, smooth controlled movement with a good stop at the end position. 
and then looking at the intensity, the intensity would be light to moderate. And what we're targeting here is really working on uh, the core stability when it comes to the abdominal area, looking at you know, strengthening that hip when it comes to rotation, and then really working on strengthening the glutes and a little bit the hamstring. So a lot of times when it relates to knee pain, uh, in runners, a lot of times they'll have a weak core, so we're targeting that with this exercise. They'll have weak glutes, and so we're targeting that with this exercise. And they'll have weak activation, endurance, and strength in those rotators in the hip, and we also target that in this exercise. Now moving on to the fourth and final exercise, Okay, good. So this one, it's a single leg deadlift. So it's, you know, starting things off, you're in a nice standing position. You're gonna put the hand up against the wall because we really wanna focus on having good movement and targeting the right muscles. And then Jenna's gonna stand on one leg, move through that hip, keep that upper body in line with her leg, and then try to have that upper body a little bit further, okay, good. And then back to the start. And on the way up, she's really working on the glutes and the hamstrings to return her back, her back to that start position. Good, down, and then coming back to that start position. Perfect. Looking at the sets, reps, time, and intensity. For this one, sets are one, repetitions would be five on one side, five on the other, then progress on to 10. Uh, looking at uh, you know, the time, smooth controlled movement with a good, good stop uh, at the end position and when you're returning back to the starting position, really activating the glutes in order to get you back to that starting position. And the intensity, intensity we like to, to moderate. Now, there, and with this exercise, what we're focusing in on is we're looking at, you know, balance in the foot and ankle, specifically side to side movement. You know, we're working on you know, targeting the glutes and the hamstrings. Uh, those tend to be the two main things that we're doing when it, count, when it relates to knee pain and knee pain and running. So there you go, give those four exercises a go to help relieve knee pain uh, during running. Now, if you want some of my other best tips and tricks when it relates to overcoming knee pain, uh, what I recommend you do is click right here. I have a brand new free report called Five Tips and Tricks That Fight Knee Pain and Tightness. Just click right here, let me know where to send you that report and I'll send you that report right away. Now if you're watching this on a mobile device, tablet or smartphone, head down below in the description and click the first link which will be exercisesforinjuries.com forward slash knees. Let me know where to send you that report and I'll send you that report right away. Now. If you got benefit from this video, make sure to like this video. If you have a question or comment for me, leave it down below in the comment section. And lastly, hit subscribe if you have, uh, if you want future pain relieving videos.